there's a lot of cancer scare going around uh, in our communities in social media channels especially so a lot of people end up asking me whether they should do any executive checkups or any cancer screening tests and they ask me what sort of tests do i recommend so i thought i'll make a short video to explain what must be done and what should not be done and what's the gray area that lies between i'm dr aju matthew i'm a consultant medical oncologist epidemiologist and researcher based in kochi so to answer this question about cancer screening let's first understand what is cancer screening the word screening implies that a person does not have any symptoms and just undergoes some kind of test to see if they have any disease that is hidden inside them so that's different from early diagnosis where some patients may have some symptoms for example a breast lump and then they undergo testing that's not screening screening implies a healthy person who has no symptoms undergoing some test so that they diagnose their cancer if at all they have something hidden inside them early enough so when should a cancer screening test be done a cancer screening test is ideally done in the type of cancers where catching the cancer sufficiently early in a person without even getting any symptoms will change the way we treat their cancers and the uh, expected outcomes of the cancer now let's come straight to the point what are the sort of cancer screening tests that are recommended and what are the sort of cancer screening tests that should not be done and what are the ones that lies in between to answer this question let me take each cancer one by one and at the end of the video i will summarize everything so that you get to understand in short news what should be done what should not be done what are the common cancers that are seen in india let's take it one step at a time breast cancer in women breast cancer in men so when i talk about screening for breast cancer what we imply is the woman is unable to feel any lump any symptoms that is nothing but then goes to do some sort of test to see if they have anything hidden inside so the kind of screening tests that are existing for breast cancer are mammogram ultrasound mri scan somebody who is healthy well and no particular family history or hereditary Uh, etiology for cancers if they do mammograms at regular interval it is possible that we may catch some cancers early enough but the problem is we may also catch benign lesions and categorize them as cancerous lesions and cause a lot of false positive results leading to a lot of anxiety among women in places like india where triple negative cancers are in high incidence the numbers are more of uh, triple negative cancers in india the frequency with which you have to do screening mammogram to catch cancers that are otherwise cause harm to you would be very short that is you should do mammograms every year or every 6 months to catch some cancers uh, that eventually may cause harm for you so in summary my recommendation for a healthy uh, general uh, un, you know woman who does not have a high risk of cancer who does not have a hereditary cause for cancer for you to do breast cancer screening i would only recommend self breast examination if you have high risk for cancer if you have a family history of cancers in multiple generations then my dad will get tested for genetic cause by doing a blood test and if you do have a reason for getting high risk cancer then do mri breast cancer screening every 6 months so to summarize for breast cancer my opinion is that you do self breast exam every month and if you notice any symptoms and alarms then go see a doctor and undergo a mammogram and an ultrasound scan or an mri scan if necessary so i do not recommend mammograms otherwise lung cancer is another common cancer seen in india uh it is possible that you can catch small tiny lung nodules in smokers 
that will eventually turn out to be cancer. So low dose CT scan can be done. But the problem is, if at all you catch a small lung nodule, doing a biopsy is intricate and is not without any harm. So you catch a lung nodule, you do a biopsy, it may cause pneumothorax. So if you are a smoker or severely uh, you know, exposed tobacco user smoker, then it is okay to consider low-dose chest CT scan at regular intervals in consultation with your doctor. But know that if you see any lung nodule, you may need to undergo a biopsy to confirm it. And that biopsy may not be without any harm. So another option would be you catch a lung nodule, you repeat the scan maybe three months later. If it grows, then do a biopsy. That's another prudent option. Prostate cancer is another cancer screen seen commonly in men, especially elderly men. Some of these executive health checkups has PSA included in it. In my opinion, as well as recommended by multiple societies across the world, PSA screening in an otherwise asymptomatic, that is a person without any symptoms, without any high risk for prostate cancer, is not recommended. So no prostate cancer screening. Thyroid cancer is commonly seen in women. Is there any test that we must do? Ultrasound of a neck is one option, but does any society anywhere in the world recommend doing ultrasound screening to catch thyroid cancer early? The unequivocal answer agreed by every single expert is no. So no screening for thyroid cancer. Kidney cancer is rising in its incidence. Is there anything you should do to screen for kidney cancer, doing an ultrasound of the abdomen, doing CT scan? And the answer is no, not at all. Do not do kidney cancer screening. No urine test also. Same thing goes for bladder cancer. Now, all of this would change if you have a high risk for cancer. If you have a hereditary mutation, a genetic reason for high risk for cancer, then everything changes. What I am talking today is for the general public. The next is an important rising cause of cancer in India, colorectal cancer. Cancers of the large intestine, colon and rectum. This is one cancer where colorectal cancer screening is important. What is the ideal screening test? A colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy done once in 5 to 10 years. So if you are a young adult, 40 years, 45 years or older, then I do recommend doing a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy with an experienced gastroenterologist uh, uh, to help you out with that. If you don't want to do that invasive test, because that invasive test does have side effects, then the other option is doing something called FIT test, F-I-T, Fecal Immunochemical Test, every year on a stool. Take a little bit of a stool sample, it's a card test, and you can see if there is any reason you should do a colonoscopy. So FIT test. So colorectal cancer screening actually saves lives. This is something you should consider. Ovary cancers are rising in numbers, but should you do cancer screening for ovary cancer if you don't have a high-risk genetic mutation? The unequivocal answer is no. Ultrasound test, blood test called tumor marker CA125 has been tested whether it will help find cancers early enough and the answer is no. So no ovarian cancer screening for the general public in the absence of any symptoms. Likewise, it goes for uterus cancer as well. The next most important cancer is cervical cancer. Cervix is an organ that is uh, in, in women uh, which is encompassing the uterus in part of the uterus. Now, cervical cancer is eminently screen detectable and preventable. So, there are multiple screen testing available. One is called a pap smear test, which is a very simple test. Every woman must undergo this test if you have a uterus. Otherwise, do an HPV DNA test. So, these are good tests that you can catch cervical cancer much ahead of time. So, this is another cancer that is important that can be prevented with screening. Head and neck cancers, oral cancers, if you have uh, uh, tobacco, if you're a tobacco chewer, tobacco user, then oral examination at regular intervals with a dentist or an ENT surgeon is helpful to catch uh, cancers at an early stage. So definitely I would recommend oral examination, oral cancer screening for extensive tobacco chewers and tobacco users. Pancreas cancer, is there anything that you can do to screen for it? No blood tests, no tumor marker, no ultrasound, no CT scan because doing that will not catch your cancer early enough. But if you're a newly diabetic person or if your diabetes has suddenly got deteriorated, then you must discuss with your doctor about uh, checking for a tumor marker or screening your ultras, uh, your pancreas for any lesions in the pancreas. Liver cancer, that is primary liver cancer, 
ट्रेनिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर एन एल्कोहलिक और एल्कोहल यूजर और पोअरली कंट्रोल डायबिटिक विद एच बी एवं सी ऑफ अबाउ हीट और सो फॉर सेवन ईयर्स पोअरली कंट्रोल्ड इफ यू हैव सरोस इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू स्क्रीन योर लिवर फॉर एनी स्मॉल लिवर कैंसलेशन बिकॉज अर्ली ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ लिवर कैंसर डज सेव लाइफ सो टू सफर आइज आई हैव मैंशन अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ कैंसर इन वेरी ग्रेट डिटेल बट टू सफर आइज If uh, in contemporary language TLDR too long didn't read or didn't listen TLDL this is the summary. What are the important cancer screening tests that you can do and you should do? One is cervical cancer screening for women with uterus. Uh, the option is Pap smear or HPV DNA test done at regular intervals with a gynecologist. Tobacco user, tobacco chewer, oral exam done with a dentist or an ENT surgeon. or a general physician is important because that can find cancers at an early stage breast cancer mammogram no in my opinion it's it's a con- conflicting uh, opinion the, there are other doctors who may say it should be done but if you are not at any particular high risk and you don't have any symptoms i don't recommend doing mammograms just for the sake of doing it what i recommend strongly is doing self breast examination if you notice anything different about your breast go see a doctor and do a mammogram and an ultrasound lung cancer screening if you are an extensive tobacco user smoker then low dose ct scan is an option but know that that's not a, a be all end all test you may need a biopsy prostate no thyroid no kidney no colorectal cancer screening very important if you are a young adult or an elderly person then doing a colonoscopy sigmoidoscopy or at least a fecal immunochemical test on your stool is life saving so i hope you got a gist of what is important in terms of cancer screening test so for everybody who's going to ask me a question about this again you'll get this video thank me for that uh if you enjoyed this video if you liked it learned something new and you want to tell something uh share this news to uh somebody you love please uh, subscribe to our channel and share this video to them uh best wishes take care god bless you